Hydrogen is um, a potential decarbonization pathway and uh, technically speaking when we speak about hydrogen versus natural gas there are several similarities specifically on the business model and also on a technical level how we when we constructed and when we started the gas industry technically speaking we can obviously learn from that and duplicate that on the hydrogen industry however when speaking about hydrogen place in natural gas maybe more importantly what we need to focus on that hydrogen uh, is highly capital intensive and more importantly that from a technical level it cannot replace natural gas in all the uh, other aspects because hydrogen is not an energy source of energy but it's uh, it's a, t a t form of transporting energy this is important to highlight and number two that uh, technically speaking as well that natural gas as a business model did proof that it's a sustainable transition and fuel for the decades to come so for hydrogen uh, certainly would have set a market that would, would, would compete with natural gas, specifically in transportation, but also in particular sector, sector and others, but would not necessarily compete. And this is where you have the major share in electricity market. And more importantly, that natural gas have different options, possibilities of use in different markets, including in the industry. This is what would make that we cannot compare the two, but definitively hydrogen is an alternative fuel, but it's just among different kind of fuels that we we need to consider why planning for the energy transition pathway. Basically, we live in a region, specifically in the MENA region, we face that we are among the most scarce countries globally, and uh, including the North Africa uh, countries specifically. And uh, technically speaking, there are certain aspects when it comes to the droughts and the water issues that behind, I would say, and be behind what a human being can do. However, uh, to, uh, what we had and what proved to be uh, efficient is using desalinated water, but the technology needs also to cope with the increase in demand of desalinated water. And specifically, this has also impact on increasing salinity of water as well. So from this perspective, what we can work more is how to couple desalinated water with the use of renewable energy, which make the whole system more clean, but also make the, most, the, the whole system uh, more efficient and it help to advance and accelerate while accelerating the energy transition hand in hand with the, the, the sustainable and water use in the region independently of the sector we refer to. The problem that uh, while putting the climate ambitions, and it's not an ambition, it's a must because we are all impacted by climate change, and actually when we put the aspiration to adjust climate change we have to do it in a sustainable way, but unfortunately we have too many trade-offs compared to the synergies that we have when we pursue a pathway towards sustainable development. And that's why uh, the most important, I think, the platform that we have today, that we have um, a platform and forum today, would help basically to uh, share experiences and knowledge and action-oriented in terms of looking projects and initiatives that help to build the capacity, design policies, looking to solutions that help to unlock finance, but for sustainable solutions that at the same time create jobs, which addresses the social aspect and uh, also the economic aspect, help to the economic diversification and more importantly, while we are putting this solution, we need to ensure that it addresses also the trade-offs with biodiversity, with water and all of that would help to ensure that we address the climate agenda.